okay imagine a situation whereby a an exchange in canada actually lost investors and trust all right what happened was that the founder of the exchange lost his life so it, it was an unfortunate, unfortunate incident so the investors funds the traders funds on the exchange platform was not as no nobody could access it because you know there is only one signatory to that account to that wallet so when the guy was gone the money was gone and this is blockchain okay it is immutable as we all know it so it's not as if maybe if you have such money in the bank you can go to the courts and file a lawsuit in the courts you know and bring out the fonts but this is blockchain it's not possible that is first scenario second scenario is a situation whereby your wallet got hacked you know the private key of that wallet was lost and um you know once you once you use the private keys your phones are gone okay so gnosis save multi seed helps you to secure your wallet so but before i teach you how to secure your wallet, your wallet in such a way that the chance of being hacked you know it's almost non existent in existence all right so this is the crypto new channel and i want you guys to do something for me right now we have like 979 subscribers we are looking forward to having like thousands of subscribers 10,000 50,000 subscribers of the channel i upload valuable content almost every like every other day and um, these are information that can actually skyrocket that can help you improve your journey you know a fast track to joining in crypto industry all right so don't forget to subscribe to the channel you know turn on the notification button like the video make a comment down below if you have any question ask in the comment box i'll be around to answer your question and if you want to join our community on telegram you're welcome to the community all right so share this with your friends so that they can also know how to secure their account as well so let's get started now i've connected to the binance smart chain as you can see from here okay let me expand this i'm going to expand it now and i'll switch to this wallet so expanded review is required so that okay I, I think i like expanded review it gives you so i funded all these wallets because of these tutorials specifically because of this tutorial right now here is it i need to send a note of warning to everyone first if you are creating a multi sig on glossy safe you are creating a smart contract and a smart contract is created on a specific blockchain now, let me show you something right here we have Gnosis chain ethereum polygon binance smart chain energy web chain and the rest of them right if you are creating a gnosis on binance smart chain it's a smart contract created on binance smart chain it does not apply to activities or anything on ethereum so if you have a multi-chain okay of course your wallet is a multi-chain wallet because uh you can use the same wallet okay you can use the same wallet on uh, on Binance Smart Chain, on Ethereum Smart Chain, any Ethereum virtual machine, you know, that is compatible with. So that is what you can do. All right. Now, if you now want to create for this, you have to create for Ethereum alone. You have to create for Binance if you want. Okay. So that's how it works. So right now, for the sake of the transaction and for the fact that the transaction cost on Binance is is, is not is not much. Okay. So I'm gonna be creating this on I'm gonna be creating this on the Binance Smart Chain. So let's get started now. I'm gonna click on create. Of course, I'm connected to this Binance Smart Chain network already. So I'll click on continue. Then the new name of the save. Uh, let's say that uh, the name, let's say the YouTube MC Crypto Niche Family, for instance. Crypto niche family. Yeah, I'm kind of creating this for, for you guys, man. Okay, so that's the name that we are giving to this wallet. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, and the name is stored locally, as of course not transmitted to the to the blockchain. So I'm gonna click on continue. That is asking, like, okay, the name of the first address, which is the uh, which is the wallet that's connected to this. Okay, it's james okay not bad the second owner let's say this one is uh, mohammed 
I hope some of you are bearing Mohammed. <laughs> so I'm going to come here. I will switch to those wallets and copy the wallet address. Now, oh, sorry. Let me switch back to the previous one, James. Okay, then I'm going to add this. You can add as many people as you want, as many wallets as you want. Okay, you can add unlimited number of wallets, as you can see. So, but because for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not creating um, a multi sig for more than two people. Okay, so but later on, I'm still going to add to it if you want. If you want, you can add more addresses to it. If you want, you can remove addresses if you want. So it is flexible. Okay, it is flexible, just like a bank, bank account that. You can add more signatures if you want, and if you want, you can remove signatures if you want. So I'm going to come here and say, okay, I want two people to confirm it. Okay, so let's assume that you had more wallets. Okay, then it means that three people can confirm it. If you have like a hundred wallet added to it, you can say, okay, at least ten people must confirm the transaction because there are hundred wallet attached to it. Okay, so but I would advise that you should make sure that more than half. Of the signatures are able to sign the transaction like any let me say you have like 10 let six sign it all right you have like 20 at least 12 you sign it okay so that is my advice so I'm gonna to go to continue I want to create a smart contract on the Binance smart chain so it will trigger an action on okay the gas fee right now is a little bit high so I'm gonna click on confirm Okay, it is validating the transaction as you can see. It is the point smart contract, so it's been created right there. So let's click on, let's check this on the explorer. Okay, it's not, it's not fully created yet, so we start to wait a little bit. Let me refresh this page. So we still have to wait till this is this becomes a success. Okay, the, the, the transaction has been broadcasted, but we are waiting for confirmation right now. Okay, so I may have to pause this video. Okay, I may have to pause this video so that um, okay, let's see if this is going to load up. So I'm going to pause this video now so that I'm not going to waste much of the time. Okay, it is confirmed success. All right, so I'm not going to wait most of the time, but we are lucky because this, this has been confirmed. So let's wait until the smart contract is loaded up on the Gnosis safe um, smart contract. So a save has been created already. So the next thing is just to send funds to that save okay so let me let me come here let's say you want to send you want to deposit okay sorry receive rather so you click on receive okay then you click on copy this address so let's send some amount of bnp to this address now because there is nothing there right now so i'm going to come here and send from this account so i'll come to send sorry send to this wallet okay no AT network set to the work case. What does that mean? Why are we getting this error? We are not we are not actually on the Ethereum network. So why is this okay? Oh, let me this is BS network, not Ethereum. So why are we getting this kind of error? Okay, let me copy this again. So after copying it, let me see what's because I'm not seeing any reason why. Oh, fine. So now I can let me say zero point zero zero one. Okay, to this address. This address you're looking at. Okay. So next, then confirm. So once once this transaction is confirmed, then it should reflect. In the Gnosis safe, okay. In the Gnosis safe, so um, the network is a little bit congested right now, as because as you can see, normally you are supposed to use 0 0.001 for the smart configuration, but because of the network congestion, so you have to you have to spend more on that. So done, done. So let's check the explorer and see if. We of course, of, uh, this is what this is the amount of money that we send to that wallet. So the next thing we want to do now is we will now try and see if you can send out the funds to other wallets. Okay, some other wallets. So this is what I'm going to do. 
let me let me copy a wallet from this wallet account one it doesn't have any funds there yet as you can see so i'm going to copy it so let's try and send some funds let me refresh this page i don't know why this is so now we're supposed to be able to at least since this has been confirmed i think been confirmed okay let me go back to this point i think you have some bnb here so we should be able to send out some bnb so i'm going to pause this now and see if this reflects in our account very soon so uh, at the moment we're going to be having problems sending out funds you know as you can see it is still saying that i have zero bnb in the wallet but i have more than zero bnb in that wallet right now because if you check block explorer what you're going to see is this like 0 0.01 bnb as you can see from here so the problem now is the binance blockchain right so you can see glossy safely so it's glossy safe currently currently experience some indexing issues on bsc transaction and asset, transaction and assets might be temporarily not be displayed properly okay so the problem now is that maybe it is years to become to become completely broadcasted on the binance smart chain so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to wait for a couple of hours and try this again but i think you guys already know how to create a multi c wallet on gnosis and that is what is most important as far as this um, tutorial is concerned okay so don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to turn on the notification button share with your friends like and comment down below and let me know what you think about this video Bye for now.